What's up, guys? Let's say someone introduces you. They say, hey, my name is John. The next time you see them, you forgot their name. They remember your name, but you forgot their name. Now you're struggling, ducking and diving. You have to call them pal, buddy, friend. And you have a feeling, a feeling deep inside that they know you don't remember their name. You're trying to hide it, but you can sense that they know. Now the weeks go on by, and you're too embarrassed to ask for the name. And you're at the point of no return now. You're doomed. Never let this happen to you. Remembering people's names is one of the most essential skills you can have if you want to be charismatic, if you want to be influential, if you want to win friends. Especially as a leader, you need to know how to remember people's names. Because the name is what identifies someone. It's, it's their identity, their name. Just think about it. If you're walking in a crowded area, people talking around, someone whispers your name, mentions your name, you're going to look in that direction, aren't you? Because your name symbolizes you. So it has great importance to you. People want to hear their names. Even Dale Carnegie in How to Win Friends and Influence People mentions how you should remember people's names, how important it is. So I'm going to give you guys three tips on how to do it. And let's go. Tip number one, just focus on remembering their name. Half the time we don't remember names is because we're not even trying to remember names. If you just focus on remembering someone's name, as soon as you meet them, as soon as they introduce you, you're really likely to do it. You're there's a 70% chance you're going to remember the name just by focusing. The reason we don't remember names is because we don't focus. They tell us the name. Hey, I'm John. In one ear, out the other ear. You're going to have to put some effort, guys. Okay, that's the first thing. That's going to solve most of your problems, just focusing. Number two. Now, this one's a bit more fun. I like to call this technique name abstraction. It probably has another name, but I like to call it name abstraction. Let's say someone comes up to me. He says, hey, I'm Mike. What I'm going to do is visualize Mike Tyson punching this guy in the face. Or I'm going to visualize Michael Jordan dunking over this guy. Okay? Another example. Someone comes up to me and tells me, hey, my name's Kong. I'm going to visualize King Kong grabbing this guy and climbing up the Empire State Building. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. Or someone tells me that their name is Connor. I'm going to visualize an Irish MMA fighter holding two belts over the top of this guy. Or an Irish MMA fighter knocking this guy out within 13 seconds. Now, why do I visualize these things? It's not because I'm crazy. It's not because I'm weird. It's because it's an abstract image. And abstract images, abstract thoughts, are easier to remember. They tend to stay in our mind. Think of your drive back home from work. If it's a normal drive that you've taken a million times before, you're not going to remember what the drive last Wednesday was like or if it was different from the drive on Thursday. You're not going to remember. It doesn't have significance. But for something to stay in your memory, something strange has to happen or something odd has to happen. So if a fox ran across the road or you witnessed a car crash, you're more likely to remember that particular drive because it was out of the ordinary. Same thing with people's names. If you associate their name with something that's a bit off, a bit strange, you're more likely to remember it. So when I see Mike and that image goes off, I'll be thinking, why am I thinking of Mike Tyson? Oh, this guy's name's Mike. Or if I see Kong and that image goes off of the gorilla, oh, it's Kong. It's a lot easier to remember names this way. It's a bulletproof method from my experience. I'll give you guys one more tip. This one's kind of cheating. When they tell you their name, just when the conversation's over, write it down. Write down on your phone. Most phones have notes these days. Just write it down and consciously go over these names every now and then and that's, a, that's an easy way, but it's kind of cheating. You want to get to the point where you don't have to use technology. Just use your mind. Oh, actually, I'll give you guys one more tip because I'm feeling generous today. As soon as someone tells you their name, say it back to them. And during the conversation, mention their name every now and then. Oh, John, really? John, how about that? Mention it. Don't go over the top with it. Just mention it every now and then. And when they're leaving, mention their name one more time. It was good to meet you, John. This is a bulletproof method. There is no way in hell you're going to forget people's names if you utilize those four strategies. So, go and remember people's names and people are going to fucking love you for it. Anyway guys, peace. I'm going to show you how to be part of the notification gang. It's real simple. Click subscribe and then you click on this little bell here. Boom, bam, boom. That's it. And you get notifications.
as soon as the videos are up. Peace. Do it! Just...